What's up you guys, Some Xtreme Symmetry here at YCS San Diego, here with, what's your name bro? Alan C. Pennington, you oh. might have heard of me. I've heard of you, yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, he just finished top 32, and what did you top 32 with? Well, uh, it was half sealed, half constructed, yes. so can't really give all the credit to one deck, but yeah. I played a, a Treeborn Frog deck and sealed, and then I played a, a Gishki deck and constructed. Mm -hmm. so, Alright, well let's just go through your first deck list. Okay, so we're going to do sealed first? Yeah, yeah, sealed deck um, list. Anything specific? That well, I mean, I guess I just want to like talk about like the preparation. Uh, a month before the event, I bought two cases of Battle Pack, and we just did nothing but play sealed. Uh, me and Lux were both from the same city. Then we got here, we went to the hotel, played some more sealed. Uh, this pool, it, I think it was about an average pool. Uh, it seemed really good at first because I had like Treeborn and Trag, which like Treeborn's my favorite card in Cube Draft, so like I just always want to have it, and like Trag's a beast, but. Uh, Problem is I don't like have a lot of ways to kill monsters. Like I have tribute to the doomed, offerings to the doom. Torrential is probably like the MVP. That was really good. But uh, somehow I pulled through. Two of my opponents didn't show up, so like that kind of helped. So I, I went seven two day one or five two. Uh, last round I played against Patrick Hoban. You might have read his article, but uh, he said to play fourteen monsters and no horn and horn of the unicorn was unplayable according to him. Both of which are completely false. And then turn two, he activated Horn of the Unicorn, so apparently he had a change of heart. Um, so yeah, I mean, Sealed was, like, really fun. Um, def definitely do it again. I'm really glad that Konami supports the format. Uh, there's not, like, really too much to explain. I'm playing, like, three Tributes, even though, like, a lot of them aren't that great. Like, mainly the Ambitious Gopher is not yeah, very good. Yeah. But, like, I'm playing Treeborn Frog. So, like, my pool isn't good, so I just, like, had to hope I opened Treeborn a lot, which, like, I did when it mattered, so... Then like everything else just standard. Just like we're standard. playing we're playing thirty cards. If you're playing yeah. more than thirty cards in battle pack sealed, you're a fucking moron. Like there's <laughs> there's literal like no piss off a lot of people. <laughs> I mean yeah, like half my opponents are playing like thirty four cards. I'm like, okay. I guess probably the most unusual card would be anti. Yeah, how did that work out for um, you? Um I, I got it wrong once in the entire tournament. And there's act one of the games that I lost, there's a scenario where both myself and my opponent had one in hand. We were both at nine hundred. And I could have activated Anti, and then like one of us just would have died. Obviously, like someone has to win. My, I had a level four in hand though, so I wasn't sure I was gonna win. I didn't activate Anti, and then like I lost because of it. So, like it's pretty good. I also have like a second in this side. Like, I figured two is a bit overkill. Yeah. But, like, ideally you try to reveal Trag, or you reveal like one of your level six tributes. Like a lot of the tributes in the format are level five and not level six. So the fact we had three level sixes makes it like a little better. Okay, yeah, so like that's... pretty pretty straightforward. Like wasn't yeah. super broken or anything. Okay, so that's it for day one, and then on to day two. Yeah. Okay. Dun, so, dun, dun. so I I pretty much like knew beforehand I was gonna play Gishki, mainly because I just like had it sitting in a deck box for like the past three months and didn't feel like trying to put something else together. And it's it's really good. Like I I test it. I actually at the beginning of the format I went to a regional, scrubbed out with like a really weird rabbit build. And then played Gishki in a side event, and it was an eight-man side event, and people like knew who I was. So they were just like siding Droll and Lockbirds, but like I just still threw out the side event anyway. So I'm like, okay, if I can like beat Droll and Lockbirds, and like this deck probably has to be good. So um, the, main, the main changes from last format, um, believe it or not, I think this deck was actually like a better meta call here than it was at, say, for example, YCS Miami. Like I knew a lot of people who either played it or played against it at Miami. But, like, you had people, like, like Billy Break was citing Neko Amani Kings Miami because, like, this deck was, like, a big deal back then. But after, like, one day got to one, people just, like, forgot that it existed. So, I, I never saw a Droll Lockbird or a Neko Amani King all day, which is, which is good. Um, like, choices are, in my mind, they're pretty straightforward. Like, me and Tyler Nolan, like, the person who we've been collaborating, and we pretty much agree on, I believe we have the same exact list at this point. Uh, we're playing like two Soligers. Uh, it's our only trade in target, but like they're searchable. Before I was playing three, now we're playing two. Two's actually works really well. Um, we also go up to a second library. Uh, Valor sees a lot less play, especially in the main deck, compared to the way it used to be. Uh, we don't like we don't, we're not like that hardcore that we want to play three because like you only have one turn, so like any extra libraries you draw are dead cards. But um, playing second library now, and I guess like. The most controversial card in the deck is going to be Cup of Ace. Um, for those who are unaware, it says, if you're a sack, it's a pot of greed. <laughs> but, okay, what it actually says is, flip a coin, if it's heads, you draw two, if it's tails, your opponent draws two. And um, 
believe it or not, I actually went about 50 50 with that card. That, people kept asking me that, and like, yeah, I went 50 50. That's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> um, but the, like, the Tails mode is actually not that bad, because like, sometimes your opponent like, sets their whole hand to like, play around hand destruction. Then you just cup of ace. Either like you make your hand destruction live, or like you draw two. So like it's not that bad. Like you really can't play anything else. If we don't want to play a second mallet or like a second dealings, that would be like the only thing you could play over it. Um, but like the deck, it has like a lot of good matchups. Like Maramel, like I don't want to say it's a buy because I just lost to it in top 32. But like it pretty much is a buy. Like regardless of whether you win the die roll or not. Like in in, Sw in the five rounds of Swiss, I only won I won two out of five die rolls. And one of the die rolls I won was the match that I lost. So, like, die roll is not as important as people would lead you to believe. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, like, it's a really good deck. Like, you're favored against everything for the most part. Like, stuff like Dark World and Samurai can be tough. But, like, like, game one, you know, very, very easy to win. Sometimes you can also just win the match in game one if your opponent, like, doesn't know how to scoop. Like that can happen right. too. Well, I just want to ask for the people that are wondering, sure. they probably don't know. Oh yeah, how the deck actually how works. How does the what is the oh, exact okay. combo? All right, right, of course. Well, the kill conditions deck out. Mm -hmm. Basically, the idea is you draw your whole deck, and then you play this idiot here, put like five back into your deck, and then you like draw your whole deck again, and then you tribute the first, play a second, put five back in your deck, draw those again, and you just keep doing that. And while you're doing it, you're likely hitting him with hand destruction, dealings, one day piece, and card destruction. And eventually a deck out. Although, like now, now that people like know how the deck works, like you're not actually gonna deck anyone out. They're gonna like scoop long before then. Like not gonna sit there for 40 minutes and watch you play this deck. Like the deck literally takes 40 minutes to play one turn. So, if your opponent doesn't scoop, you just get to win the match 1-0, which is like pretty nice. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like it's honestly a very good deck. Uh, I think it probably won't be good post prophecy because then people are like gonna side Droll and Lockbird for them anyways. But like other than that, it's a great deck. Uh, now I know like when the next YCS is coming up. But in yeah, the words of Josh, Josh, in the words of Josh Graham, you'd be a fucking moron if you aren't playing Gishki. <laughs> awesome. So uh, anything I, anything specific that uh, uh, the side deck. Uh, side side deck, we don't care. We have, we have a heavy storm and some burn cards. That's it. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah. it was fun. Awesome. All right. All right. Thank you for the profile. Yep. Thank All you. Right.